Nope. Just cannot get this file lit at all. Good morning fellow farmers, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Elk Mountain. I am Northern Gamer and we've just had some breakfast and I think we get Bitsy some as well. There we go mates. So while she comes over and eventually eats this, uh, I think what we're going to do initially is get to know the neighbourhood. Not actually met any of the other farmers on the land, so we'll go and see if we can meet some of the... Oh, thank you Mitzi. So yeah, so that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go and meet some of our neighbours. First up is Clifford Powell. Not a whole lot's known about Clifford Powell other than he's a third generation farmer. He tends to keep himself to himself, although he is known to like swing dance music. The one thing that gets him to come out of his shell is if you ask him about his antique lipstick tube collection, of which he's said to have over 300. Next up is local pig farmer and family man, Michael Hammond. Being a pig farmer and livestock farmer tends to give him rather distinctive odour. If you get too close to him when you're talking to him, you can definitely tell what he does for a living. However, he's harmless. Most of his conversations tend to be all about his favourite pig, Beryl. Next up is Isaac Ewing, a veteran who was discharged for accidentally shooting himself in the hand with a bow and arrow, which for years has baffled many people in the town. As well as being a landowner, he also coaches local football team, the Elk Mountain Miners. With not one, not two, but three doctorates in ornithology, next up is Dr. Richard Miller. We're not bird watching, he's taken up skydiving and pottery, although we're reliably informed not at the same time. As you can tell, he's a bit of an eccentric. He has a pet duck, which has actually won the local duck race seven years in a row, and he can't wait to make it eight. And of course, our good friend Leroy Wilson. Leroy's the reason we came up here. Leroy still has family up here, we met his sister, and he also owns some of the businesses and a bit more land around, so we'll probably see Leroy more and more from time to time. To everyone we've seen so far, there'll probably be some more introductions as we go along in this series as we meet more and more of the town. But for now, I think it's time we got going. We've got a lot of money we need to raise, obviously we need to get that tractor. Uh, I think it was about 33,000, something like that. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of money to be made. And I think the quickest way for us to do that is to chop down some trees, get these logs sold, see where it's going to give us the best price, because it might not necessarily be the sawmill or the biogas plant. There's a carpenters here, so it could even be them. So there's a few options of places we can sell these woods. So let's get some trees chopped down and get them loaded up and let's go get them sold. Approximately 10 hours later. Oh, this is taking forever. <laughs> let's see how much money we've got after this and then see what we can afford. Uh, let's even see if there's anything in the used tractor section. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think there was. I think there was just a, one big one, uh, which is going to be way out of our price range. 
So let's get this sold. Uh, let's have a look at where we are currently at money-wise and what we are 17,000 so probably about 22 23,000 once we've sold this so we can get a decent tractor with that I think let's have a look 23,000 um, guys <laughs> guys this is the tractor we wanted at 33,000. <laughs> and there's one for sale. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's 180 horsepower. It's £15,837. I mean, it's used, so it's going to be... It's got some wear and tear. It's probably going to need some sort of repairing. But this is what we were after. This is the big medium tractor that we wanted to start with. And it's... It's so cheap compared to the others. I think we would be stupid not to take this one. We've got the money. Let's have a look. Play around some of these settings. Don't think we need twin tires, just simple ones. Yeah, we we don't need anything crazy here, I don't think. Definitely a beacon light. Definitely needs a beacon light. Yeah, we'll go with that. Front loader attachment, that's good to know that we could put one of those on at some point. What does this change? A little filter at the front, I think. Yeah, it does. I think, hmm, yeah, I think we're okay with just the, yep, yeah, just a short pre-filter. That's, that's fine. Um, okay, license plate. Yeah, I think, we, yeah, we should definitely have a, a custom license plate for this. Where is it? There it is at the back. Let's change this. Northern Gamer, and of course, Mitzi as the last bit. So there we go. It's nice that it's a, it's a Wyoming plate as well. That's pretty cool. So I think we might just be buying a brand new tractor. I think we're gonna have fun with this tractor. It, obviously, it's a little bigger than we normally would start with, um, but I think it's gonna help us do a lot of jobs. We definitely will be getting one of the smaller tractors as well because it's always good to have one of those in one of the old ones, one of the um, like we had the Oliver on the last one, maybe like the Massey Ferguson. That'd be quite a good little addition. So we'll definitely be getting one of those at some point as well. Let's just park this up around the back for now. I think I'm gonna. Probably try and find somewhere to create a yard uh, just to keep the tractors and the equipment in rather than bringing them up to the house all the time. But that is a nice looking tractor. I can't believe that's our first tractor and it was a bargain as well. We've done very well so far for uh, for bargains on this series. I don't know how long that will continue. So let's go and create somewhere for all of our equipment. Let's go create a yard. Okay, so that's the yard created. Let's put the tractor in it. 
Uh, I'll just stick it down in this corner. I think when we get some more money, we'll put some sheds in here as well. And some other kind of storage solutions as well for grain and seeds and that kind of stuff. But for now, this will do. Just somewhere to keep our equipment. Uh, let's go and get the car and the trailer. And let's park these in here as well. So as I pack this up, I think that's probably it for this episode. We've done all sorts. We've met some neighbours. We've bought a <laughs> brand new tractor. Uh, in the next episode, I think we might look at some contracts. We might even survey the land that we've got and see what we could potentially do as well. But that's it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And it's time for a cuppa.